Today we're going to finish off the landscaping and make this look much, much nicer. Hello and welcome to my single player world. I'm JD and like I mentioned, we're going to be doing the exterior of this house. Uh, well, not really the house itself, but the land. But I have to take you inside because during a live stream, I did the interior. So let's take a look. So I've got the little entrance here. Uh, it's not quite 100% done, but I'll get that done over some time. Now the basement, we're missing something. Got to make a loom here. So I will be doing that once I'm able to. And if we go up here, we've got our kitchen area. Nice little kitchen. Got a, a stove and preparation space. I like this separation here. Little living room, little area to eat, and we have a loft to sleep in. And I like the storage here. I put in a bunch of barrels, and I quite like how that turned out. Yeah, so that is mostly done, if I can get down the stairs. Or the ladder. Now, what do I have planned? A lot. I gotta make a porch, I gotta make gardens, I have to make a path, I have to put up lots of trees and flowers and bamboo. So, let me figure this out. Oh yeah, Podzle. Jan wants Podzle. So as I mentioned in the previous video, this house is a patron's house. So if you are interested in becoming a patron, of course, you can check out my Patreon page and see what I have to offer. We'll start off with the front. Uh, Jan has asked for a porch, but uh, sorry, it's going to be a patio. So I'm just going to be replacing a lot of this with a mix of stone brick and cobblestone. Make it look like it's been uh, worn down a bit. And we'll add a bit of greenery around here, maybe even a seat. So let me get that done. Made a big hole in the ground. I picked up all the podzel. I will refill this with grass, uh, but as you can see, I've, I put in some stuff here. But what I'm planning on doing next is I'm going to be making a path that's uh, slowly curving, going down to the water. And I'm going to be using a mix of podzel, which I've got... Where's the full... Ah, there we go. Podzel, as well as path blocks and coarse dirt. Now I need to go back to my village and grab some uh, some resources for that, especially gravel, because I got a lot there. So basically, and I'm not going to use this. This uh, I, I really need mending on this. I'm going to start off just by putting in some path blocks, you know, just uh, lightly curving. Oh, and there it goes. And filling in some more of it later on with, uh, well, the coarse dirt and the podzel. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on with my, my mouse. It seems to be double clicking. Okay, let's get this all done. All right, I got the paths done. I'm up by where the road is going to go. So we've got this path going down, added some planks here. So it's easy to step up and down, so I'm not jumping. And we have it going through here and one going down here. So the next thing I have to do is I need to put up some, well, a mix of bamboo fl and flowers. So mostly tall flowers. And I've got them up here. So, no, I don't. I got them somewhere. Let me find them. The thing that I forgot is little trees. So, um, just like this. Maybe not like that, but uh, let me see. Got scaffolding right here. I just want to make this a little bit bigger. So it's not just this tiny little stubby thing. I'll just add a little bit around on the outsides. And maybe we'll have a nice little tree here. Like, like this. Um, that looks weird. Slightly taller, huh? Let's get 
that up there. Maybe like that a bit. Eh. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm terrible at trees. Um, this looks a little bit too big-ish. I'm just kind of wondering if just having it be a tall, skinny one. Like, uh, well manicured, I guess he could say. But that looks like a twig. Um, yeah. Uh, let me figure this out. Eh, that one turned out okay. Made a little taller. I have a little tiny one there, but I'm also going to just grow up one of these. I don't know if this is going to be a big one or, you know, that's okay. I'm okay with that. And I'd also like one maybe right here. So just regular oak. It's not along the path of... Whoa, of course. But they're small trees. So that's okay. Um, Jan has also asked for bamboo to be grown along here, but um, between two and six. So let me see. What happens if I do this? Two. Okay. I've got string. So what I can do with the string is put this on top and that'll stop it from growing any taller. So I'm going to put a few along this path as well as lilacs. All right, I got some done here. Um, I've also started on a couple other things. So I'm going to have a path going out this way and another path going this way. And they're going to go to some vegetable and crop uh, gardens. And I am thinking of putting in some lamps. So just putting up some... Uh, lanterns just to light things up a bit so maybe one right here would be good i think so i'm gonna get some lights in and finish off these paths as well as back to the road now i've got a lot of cobblestone which i'm going to be using well some of it here i'm going to make a little area where i can have a garden and to mainly use cobblestone so this will go like this and we'll have it come in like this and out and back so in here we're gonna have a bunch of flowers over here now I'm thinking I want to get rid of this bit here so let me grab this I don't need that I need this I like to get Get the grass, right? I just want to clear out a little area. It's because I want to put in a little bit of a vegetable field here. Vegetable patch, I guess. So, I'm going to be making, I think, one for wheat, one for potatoes. I'll have a couple over there, I think. Do we do beets? Maybe not. Maybe some carrots. You know, things like that. So it's going to be fairly simple. I have uh, a little gate entrance you can get through. And it's not going to be very, very big. Just little tiny patches of vegetables. So I will be mixing these up, uh, sometimes using stairs, sometimes using slabs sometimes using walls, but they're all going to end up being connected in the end. Uh, let me do this. Uh, no, like this. Okay, so I'm going to get all this done, make this look nice, and then, ooh, donkeys. Uh, and then we're going to have to get all the vegetables and a hoe too. All right, I've got a few little fields here. Oh, I forgot one... Uh, let's use a wall here. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to move this, but I'm going to have little bits of crops around here. I mean, these walls are not going to protect them. It's just a border. This is going to be another flower bed I'd like to put in there. I'm considering, 
No, I'm just going to keep this looking natural. I think maybe a tree would look good here. So, yeah, I'll, I'm going to put in a few trees. And you know what? I'm just thinking over here on the side. Right over here. I'm thinking of just putting in a bit of a uh, bamboo grove. So it's it's not a lot, but they'll grow. <laughs> they will definitely grow. I also need to put in oak leaves all over the place. I would, in fact, like to put a bunch right around here where these guys are standing. And that's very annoying that they're here. Can you go away? Maybe one here. And I'll just, just populating the area with some leaves. I think this will look so much nicer. I want to put sunflowers here. But there is one more thing I want to build, and that is a little stable for the horse. We need one. Definitely, definitely need one. And this needs some greenery, too, because without it, it looks kind of plain, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to get all this done up, and I'm going to get to work on all that. All right, I got a bunch of stuff for the farms, and we are going to be taking the horse out. So let's... No, no. Let me, let me get on you. Thank you. Okay, so how do I get out? <laughs> uh, okay, this... This is not easy. I need to be able to get out of this village... Ah, here we go. This is not easy. Don't trample anything, please. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the horse back to the village. Alright, just a temporary spot for the horse for now. But what I need to do next is get these fields planted. And I am going to have to make some holes here so I can... Uh, you know, put water in. I also have to move that. All right, as many crops as I can plant has been planted. That's potatoes. This is beets. We got carrots over there and wheat over there. So I need to let that grow and uh, hopefully I can have it looking better. I just want to take a quick look and we'll see how everything is looking from above. All right, I think once these are growing up, it's going to look a lot better. I'm kind of wondering what to do around the edges. I have trees that are going to be growing up. I'm thinking of putting in uh, like a really simple dock here. So simple dock there. And over there is going to be uh, small stables. Also want to build a bit of a, a gateway over there. So some of the trees have grown, but not a single tall oak has grown. Why? Why are they all short? Anyways, I'm going to get this guy's little home ready. So I do need, well, it's going to be small, not very big. So let's make it like this wide here. Maybe this far back. And uh, I want to fill this in a bit. Uh, I need dirt back there, actually. But anyways, I'll have fence going here. I think we'll have fence here, fence here, fence going all the way along the back. It's going to be fairly simple. I don't want this to be very complicated. And then we're going to be going up. One, two, and I think three. Same thing here. Oops. So one, two, and a three. And back here. Um. Yeah, I think I want to go up a couple more, but uh, ran out. Of course, here we go. 
got that and I'll be putting on a roof which is going to be mainly spruce wood slabs and that is going to require me to go up a bit so going all the way across like this and then we're going to go down a block well half a block I should say and yeah go down like this and all the way across and the sun's coming uh going down so i'm gonna finish this in the morning all done got some podzel and coarse dirt in there so let's get you in here so oops make sure the door is open whoa gee this horse is really fast by the way it's just unbelievable how fast this horse goes so uh just tie you there so you can't get out and that looks good all right so the next thing i need to build is the docks and that's going to be very simple all right very simple but effective uh, i may as well move the the boat over and we'll be able to oh come on let's get over there let's park uh maybe this side here we go whoops i'm stuck under the boat i didn't know that was a thing uh -huh. okay so i do have one other big thing i need to do actually uh a little thing too but i need to build the the gate and the fence over there the gate's going to be fairly straightforward. I just want to make sure that it's going to be far enough away from the road. So we're going to go up like this. We'll have the fence, you know, going like this. That's fine. Uh, just to make sure we know where the property is. So go this way a bit. And I think that'll be enough. So, uh... The design of this is also going to be fairly simple. I want to be able to get through on a horse. And if I can't do that, it's going to be a little difficult. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make this slightly arched. So it's going to be a little interesting here. I need this going up like that and down here uh let me see i'm not so sure about that here grab that i was thinking i wanted it arched like this not so much with this there we go oops well that broke go on this side And actually, yeah, that should be okay. Though, I think this looks a little bit more solid. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think I'm going to have to redo this. All right. I think that's that's a bit closer to what I wanted. Not sure what I was thinking before. Uh, and I just like to use this little bit here. Let me get this up one more. And we'll have a light, a lantern right here. And I need, actually I need to grab a couple of things just to finish things off. All right, here we go. So I want to put a couple of sunflowers like this and bone meal. Get another one and plant another one. Maybe, maybe, maybe here. There we go. Just some sunflowers there. And a sign. We need a sign here to put. Uh, maybe we'll just put it right here. So this will be, uh, let's put a line, oops. So Jan Cat Ladies Homestead, why not? 
All right, there we go. That is nice and labeled. And I grab some sugar cane. I'd like to put in some down by the water. It's a little featureless over there. Now, if we have some sugar cane, it'll give it a bit more life, you know. So just in a few random places along the coast here and over here too, I think. We got a beach here, which is actually quite nice. So I'll let those grow. I've got a couple more trees to grow, and yeah, I think I think we're actually done. Uh, except I need to make sure everything is planted. So I will get all of this food spread out, and then it'll be done. So. That is it. This project is done. Now, uh, the next things I need to do, I really want to get to work. Oh, I need to cut down that uh, dark oak, but yeah. Um, I really want to get to work on uh, the skeleton farm. I, I really want to use bone blocks for building in the city. But I also want to get to work on the end portal room. Now I'm planning a big build there and since it's right by the skeleton farm I want to incorporate that. I want them to be joined together and then I'm moving to the city where I'm going to be building a lot. I'm going to join it with the nether. I need to make another portal but yeah that's that's about it. I like how this turned out. It's fairly green. Lots of plants. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more of how this world is going to continue developing, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.